Dexter plays Kenshi from Lo-Fi Games. So, Babylon, you think they'll be okay? Yeah, they'll be fine. They've got a good setup now. The guards are up in the turrets. Got them specifically assigned. Worked that out the last time I was down there. We've refitted all the guards with the uh, elite hunters outfits, so they can always run around and keep the uh, keep anybody coming in tied down while the the turrets take them out. And uh, I've also got the workers clearing up some stuff too. So getting organized. We're getting organized down there, but I think it's time for us to head on out. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. So we're gonna go to Splash or whatever this is over here. That is Shark. We're gonna go to Shark. So I'm going to come out through here and over to this side, and we're going to make it, like, real quicks. Um, everybody is geared up. If we take a look at the inventory, this is my standard setup now for my scouts. Again, I, I think I re reviewed this a little while ago, two or three episodes ago, but real quick. Uh, dust coat, samurai cloth pants, leather turtleneck, flared helmet, sandals, and a ranger uh thing with with the, something that'll fit in second which is generally katana so this outfit this set up here gives me the best armor coverage without impacting my athletics or my crossbowmanship uh it doesn't i mean the, the drifter's leather jacket gives me a bonus crossbow but i like this because it'll give me much better coverage across my parts than the uh leather jacket will so that's why we're going for this Plus, this gives me protection from acid and burning. So if I happen to go into a area with ruins, I don't have to worry about burning myself to death so much. So we're going to go ahead and move out. We're heading over here to Shark. Uh, my mission, I did take a, a load with Dex and uh, Pac-Man over to the nearby outpost. Just to unload a bunch of armor and weapons that I had. Primarily just to get some cash. And as you can... Time to restock the supplies. Hey, what? You really think you're coming after me? Who are you? A swamp ninja. I really actually don't like the swamp ninjas. One, two, three, four. You. Uh, Gameson? Did you... You did not. I, I, I think I checked just before we left it. Oh my god. Okay, Kim, let's go over here and get this trade here. You two guys come back. Come on back here. Okay. Some more swamp ninjas? Okay. Uh, you were trading here to get set back up. All right. So, two, just slow this down. Two come over here. Dex, back. How many swamp ninjas do we have? A few. Oof. Actually, you know what I probably should do is the rotating just... Take out the uh, archer, <laughs> the crossbow in here. How you feeling, buddy? Here we go. So I don't have to worry about taking any more shots from a crossbow. I've got some reasonable harpoon resistance. It's just not great. Okay, so everybody down? Everybody down. Um, do I want to... Well, actually, let's go ahead and patch up. Dex is the only one who took any damage at all, really. Wow. I'm impressed. All right, let's take a look at these guys. I am thinking I'm going to go ahead and load up take their weapon. What is... Oh, my God, that's worth nothing. That's worth something. That's worth a bit. 
So I'll take this and their ability to heal. <laughs> Leave them out here to fend for themselves. I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> uh, what is this worth? Oh yeah, definitely take that. Can't get that piece. Uh, put that back. Take that instead. All right, I'm going to think what I'm going to do here. Let me loot this up real fit, fast, and then we'll go ahead and come back with... Uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. The, uh, the mask. Yes. Ah, uh, mask face. What's that? I am happy. I'm a happy camper. Uh, let's go here. Grab that. All right. Dex, are you fully loaded up with stuff? Not quite. You could probably grab something off of him. Weapon-wise? Yep. Good. Bubble him. Come over here and grab his, uh other things of value uh, I think you're done there you come over here and grab his I didn't take the uh, the bandage did I okay what's that that's worth 320 actually the turtleneck isn't worth enough is it even the face thing isn't really worth that much Okay, so I think we're pretty good here. Let's all head out. Uh, where Pac Man is, he's way back down here. Yeah, he's down here. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm already ready. What are you guys doing? We're just, we're just dragging ass. That's all. Leave me alone. Or we're gonna come here. Go, guys, go. So, yep, we're going to get here and get to the edge. Be right back. Well, we made it to the peninsula here, and on my trip here, I think I took out ooh, eight blood spiders. I chased off a skin spider, and I just took out about eight more uh, sabers. Uh, I'm heading that away. So, let's keep moving through the, the swamp. I keep triggering stuff. <laughs> it's actually kind of amusing. Let's uh, scan back so I can see when people are like, oh, you are bad and I'm going to get you. Because that seems to be the route that things take. Now, most of these guys can swim pretty well, so I'm not going to have to worry about it too terribly much. But if you come into the swamp with folks who can't swim, um, you're going to get chewed up. Oh, all right, so what I what I run into? Who's upset? I didn't see a message. So that must be spiders of some type. A little bit, Steve. Yep, spiders. Wow. These guys are really, really hard to see. You can go, you guys go over here. And you guys will be taking on spiders. The nice thing about blood spiders, at least, is that they don't take that much to take down. If you can hit them. Hopefully I'm not going to run into another one of those uh, immune blood spiders again. Good. Here we go. And we will come over and grab teeth. As uh, blood spiders are the one thing I, I really just can't abide running around without uh, making sure they're, they're history. All right, so that wasn't too bad. There's was only three of those. Let us continue. Um, this away. Swamp navigation. Uh, all you guys should be over here. Did somebody get hurt? Bobby. All right. Grab all ya. Is that it right there? I, I, dang it. Stop the loading thing. Look. Thought I saw like a lean to. Yep, there it is. There's there is a small I don't just come right over here. These guys should be um, pleasant. 
Get your, get your fish and drugs here. <laughs> That's what I want. I want fish and drugs. Nice. Yeah, let's trade some. I'm going to make sure I'm at slow speed. He's got hashish. But uh, I'm just I'm just selling. I'm just trying to make some room. I swapped out all those. <laughs> he can't afford any more, huh? All right. Anybody else here want to buy? I don't think there is. I think there's probably one. Well, nope. There's another one in here. Okay, come on. You go here. Is there a guy in here? There he is. Hi. How you doing? Let's do business. Um, I'm just first. I'm selling. Done. Done. And getting close to done. Keep these guys moving at a reasonable speed. Hey. Big stuff. Lesser stuff. Wow. That was actually. You. You have a lot. You got a lot of stuff on you, buddy. But uh, guess what? I'm gonna be. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be buying stuff from you. So what do you got here? Armored hood. All right, let's go to decks. Uh, I already know that. Know that. Rattan hot. Saragosa. Square goggles. Let's just do this as dust coverage. Yeah, dust storm is 100%. And I think that's fine with the rest of it. I don't need anything else in here. Uh, let's go back here and see if you want to buy some more stuff. Now that I just bought all that from you. Really? Hey, you want? Nope, can't afford that. Okay. <laughs> can't afford an egg. I got an egg. You sure? You don't want the egg? All right. Let's read these. Got my armored hood. Got my son goes a uh, send a send a Gaza. Sen, I don't know. Rotan hat. Nice. Well, just making sure I've got all my goods. All right. Anything else over here? What do you buy? You, you got anything to sell? It doesn't look like it. I don't see any other. So use it alt. Yeah. I don't see anything else here to sell. What do you got inside? Nothing that I really curious. There's the, the one sign. Fine. All right. We're out. We're heading over towards. Uh, swamp Raptors, one would hope. Let's head over here. Now, there's a, a thing that I, I incurred in when I was playing around before that is a little unfortunate. Dude, are you, uh, what's your swimming skill at? You're not bad at swimming. You should be, shouldn't be dragging behind everybody else. Grab the crew. Uh, over this way. But that is, uh, when you come into this place, it is possible to pull aggro against uh, the guards. Uh, if, if I don't know what the combination is, but if there's something chasing you and you happen to be inside and something else happens, then everybody gets pissed off at you. So don't hang out at the gate. Uh, Oddly enough, go way inside so that they have a chance. Whatever comes in to, to, to mess with you, you don't have to worry about it. Glenn, he knows all about black blood. You know, his cousin had a run-in with him. <laughs> okay. Little stories going on everywhere. That's that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, you guys are still coming in? Perfect. All right, so then I've got a lot of stuff here. I've got a, a couple of bars. Bar, I think it's a bar, isn't it? No, that's the, uh, the thing. I've got swords food and other things all right let's go take a look and, and see what we've got um the crew will come with me because i want them to be close enough that i can sell the eggs hi how you doing oh i know what it was there's a guy in the bar that could get pissed off and then everybody else goes bananas on you so it's quite unfortunate nice got a few of those uh already known can't learn that yet and i think i can pick it up nearby However, I will take a cloth because I'm always in need of cloth. Seems like. Next. Over here. Dex, head on in. There's the guy. Hey, how you doing? Let's go talk to you. 
Uh, you've got, you've got mail. Uh, you've also got some stuff there for me. Thank you. I'm not going to take straw flower. How am I doing on cash? I am awesome on cash. Okay, that's a bar, right? Yep, that's a bar. So we're not going to do the bar yet. I'm going to come over here first. I'm going to make sure I get in here and talk to everybody and buy and sell everything I can. Alright, this is travel, dude. Okay. People just hanging out on turrets all over the place. This is the kind of world we live in. You need just to get inside. Uh... He's not the one. Okay, there we go. Hey, how you doing? Uh, first of all, nice. I got rid of everything else. Ninja geese. Let's see. Long coat. I'll take a uh, long coat. Tricorn hat. You know that. Already know that. Already know that. Already know that. So I think I got all my locations already known. See anything else in there I want? Uh, what, do I know this one? Yep, know that one. Map of the Swamps. Excellent. Okay, uh, Dex. Let's learn Tricorn Hat and Long Coat. Actually, I do have one more thing to sell to you, don't I? Let's do that. Let's sell you some uh, teeth. Spider teeth. It's not, I'm, I'm sure you don't have enough of those. But here, have some spider teeth. Alright, I think it's all good. Yep, all good. Alright, next. I saw in the middle a... Um, yep, yeah, right there. Weapons guy. Let's go take a look at some weapons. Oh, where are you? There you are. Hiding around the nope, that ain't you. There you are. Uh, you gonna, ooh, what is this? Dex and Strength. Specialist arm, eh? The KLR series was a legend was legendary for its simple durability designed for the original service bots working alone in a remote hostile environment. Fancy features and luxuries were ditched in favor of simplicity. Many were used on the front lines of a war, so few can be found today. Cool. Uh already know that one, know that one, know that one, and I know that one. Tin cans. Armored drifter pants. I'm tempted just to keep it. It's a specialist level too. Twenty four thousand. Now nah, I'm gonna save my money. I mean, my idea is to get to the point where I can make my own. All right. So is there any more things I need to look at? I did one, two, three. Yep. And I have two bars. Yeah. So do I want to go into a bar or not? Uh, do I need recruits? I've got some pretty decent staff up there, and the guards are fine. I, I am worker bees, maybe. I'm thinking about taking each of these folks off over to the uh, plastic surgeon and get them renamed to uh, their, their, their function. Um, and then I will continue to give for folks who want it. Um, I'll give names to things like the guards. You can be gardens, turrets, folks. I think I'll give names unless you have a particular um, care for one of the uh, one one of the jobs, in which case I can always do that too. All right, so I think I'll go into a bar here. I want to I want to see if the uh, guy has something of interest to sell. I also need to be finding pearl cups and stuff. I'll lose what. 
And we have a loser with the dry out. What? Oh, that's the game. Yeah, I don't know the game yet. Uh, that's a dealer. Hey, how do you play? Ah, you're quick learner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you learn as you go. Okay, never mind. Um, where is... Diplomatic status. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, I might find the guy here, right? You, drifter. Drifter. Barthug. That's the guy who gets you in trouble. Twitchy Barthug. Another one gets you in trouble. Not here. All right, so Dex, go to the other bar, which is over here. The rest of you can meet him there. Fish will make you happy. So will drugs, right? Is that what you're about to say? What is this here? Picture. The dancing skeleton. Nice. Wait. You know what happens, but I ain't going to be able to repay your debt if you go breaking my legs. Now am I. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, you are Drifter. Diplomatic Station and Holy Nation. Drifter. Mercs. Drifter. Drifter. Merc. Barman. Hey, Barman. Welcome to the Dancing Skeleton, the best bar in the swamp. Throw a cat to our lovable dancing mascot, Nelly, for a month of good luck and a full belly to boot. Nelly? Where's Nelly? Where's this dancing skeleton you, you so speak of? I don't see it. All right. Your sign is a corpse. You're one twisted mother. <laughs> Natty, huh? Nice sign. Whatever, I have some questions for you. Yeah, everyone loves Nelly. Been with us since the old folks opened up the bar before me. Heck, you could say it's our lucky charm. Now, can, what can I do for you? Uh, Barbie, can you fill me on the swamp? Fill me in on the swamp lands. Sure, I can. Swamps can be pretty chaotic for newcomers. Best to know how things work and whose toes to avoid stepping on around here. The town's run by the five clans. The hounds, the gray flares, the twin blades, the black shifters, and the stone rats. Can you tell me about the hounds? The hounds are the top dogs. They run the show around here. They done a good job of getting hemp to grow in the swamps. Whether they've been making sacrifices to Narco Nuku, or they've just got green goddamn fingers. Now, who the hell knows? Either way... It's got them a pretty big stand in, in the smuggling trade. They're the most powerful of the clans. Their leader, Grim, she's about as smart as she is crazy. What about the stone rats? Between you and me, the clans is around the room. The stone rats are nothing more than a bunch of thugs. I goddamn hate them myself. Slaughtering around town like they own the place. They run a protection racket, so they like to beat cats out of the honest business owners like me. I see. Uh, black shifters. They make up the five Ronins. Though they may be Ronins, but they sure haven't lost that greedy goddamn hyper mindset. They handle the they handle the town's money, loan sharking, gambling, that sort of thing. They run the casinos around here. As long as you don't owe money, they got no reason to hurt you. Okay. Twin blades. Those guys, they're about as crazy as they come. They give me the goddamn creeps. They traffic organs. The kidnappers and ransom too. Orkin knows where they get their stock from. You know what? I don't want to know. I ain't pissing them off anytime soon. Uh, that's for sure. All right, now let's see. Last one is the Grave Flayers. The Grave Flayers tend to keep them themselves. They mainly do raids, heists, and covert missions for big paying customers. Apparently... They only steal from the bad, so I hear. But no one knows too much about their activities. Okay, thank you. What about trading? 
There's a lot of you unique. What? Letter for a swamp? This is curious. Letter from a swamper one. All right, let's pause for a second here. A letter written by a swamp resident. Looks like it never ended up getting next sent to the recipient. Harmodious, you should see this place. I'm making in a day's work what I'm used to be getting in a month. I'm telling you, this stuff is the shit. Everybody that tastes it just wants more. Never tried it myself, though. Prefer the hashish. Stuff takes you over, takes over you within months. I've seen entire families selling their houses and even their kids for a bit more. Dad wouldn't fit in. He'd think we were assholes all this stuff. Doesn't matter as long as it isn't me. No written by a swamp resident. I messed it up. I had quite a life. A child even earned enough money to uh, earn enough to have my own place. Then I tried it. Just once, I thought. See what it feels like. Tried it many times, adding a little more every time, hoping to recreate that first time. For every little I added, I lost more. Didn't feel like it then. I ended up owing money. Couldn't repay. Had to sell the house. Had to even sell the clothes. I sold my kids' furniture. But Fooly never left. Though all the shit I did, Fooly stuck with me. I never deserved that kid. No one does. We had to flee. We got out. I couldn't walk. I was too tired. Too weak. They enslaved Fooly. I must go save him. But I can't control myself anymore. I always need it. It's enslaved me. Please save my little boy. Doesn't deserve to suffer anymore. Oh, so if we run across the Fooly, we should save him? Well, I ain't fucking believe in this. This place is real after all. Here, one gets what one worked for. No nobles who were born lucky breathing down the necks of the workers and asking for rent. No fucking priests claiming they're the ones who got everything figured out and using people's ignorance to steal it from them. The only law here is what the nature's strongest gets it. Okay. Uh, and I saw four here. I'm done with the shithole. Why, they are just grubs in here when the, we could be when we could be fucking kings and king queens outside. I say we book it, you, me, and the few other folks. We grab what we can from the treasury, and we make a run for it. We hire more people, and we form our own bloody gang. After all that, what they told us when they, we came here, this is the jungle, and everything's up for grabs. Written by a swamp resident. Likely one of the Grey Flare clan. Okay, wait, I didn't notice if it was uh, just residents. Yeah, all the re residents. Yeah, residents. Big Grey. Tiny Bill got wasted, and he's sitting on his ass going soft, and forbidding us to go skin softly, swiftly. He's got, he's got us on some bullshit errand to make sure we don't do the bastard in. Big Grey trusts you, and Tiny Bill was our brother. Waste the son of a bitch. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So, um, I did not see a drifter. A drifter. What's a repair bed, eh? Anybody low on a or nope? Everybody's got their arms and stuff. All right. Well, I think that's it. Let's take a look. We got Mudtown over there. I think I'll head over there next and uh, take a peek. If it pops up with anything, we'll come back and we'll take a look. But until then, thanks for joining me. This was interesting. Quite a bit of uh, lore going on here in Swamp Town. Take care. Bye bye. Creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind I go where the wind blows, I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild, whispering my name No, I can't be tamed, my heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a. I'm a.